What's going on, guys? This is Aaron from Departures Capital, and we're here with Claudio Ferri, co-founder and CEO of Kisses from Italy. It's a pleasure to have you on today, Claudio. How are you doing? Thank you so much, Aaron. Happy to be on. Yes, of course. I'm excited to be talking about this company. So can you start by telling us a bit more about Kisses from Italy, telling us everything that you guys do? Well, Kisses from Italy is a uh, restaurant operator, franchisor, product distributor with locations in the United States, Canada, and Italy. Um, we've been around since 2015, first start operations in, uh, in, uh, South Florida, primarily Fort Lauderdale, expanded there into different uh, hotel locations. Um, and as the business grew, we had our ups and downs like everybody else. Um, we eventually expanded into franchising across the U S opening our first franchise location in Chino, California. Uh, the second one then being, we did a multi-unit deal in, in Canada for a hundred locations. Um, which was just at around uh, the, the COVID point. So, um, but we did, they did open uh, the first one in, in Montreal as well. Uh, and uh, we launched our very own Kisses from Italy branded uh, retail products, which are in about 70 stores today. Uh, and we started with uh, gluten-free pasta, uh, frozen gnocchi, and, uh, and high and uh, high quality tomato sauces. Uh, that's really a very quick synopsis of what we've done. In the meantime, uh, in uh, 2017, we had obtained our, our national franchise license for the United States. Um, uh, in 2019, we finally got uh, got the, the blessing from FINRA to be publicly listed uh, on the OTC uh, markets. So today they, were, today they were listed on the OTC QB under KITL. Uh, and uh, fast forward to today, I mean, as the company continued to grow, we had our, you know, being an emerging brand coming out of COVID, um, you know, we had a, a strong team in place in terms of management, and uh, we eventually, um, by stroke of luck, I like to say, uh, was introduced to Dan Rowe from France Mart. And France Mart is a, uh, even myself wasn't sure who they were uh, before meeting them or before speaking to Dan. And France Mart is just a, a, a massive, probably, you know, arguably the biggest franchise developer and uh, franchise sales specialist in the world. Um, you know, as, as some of our investors have already read, uh, Dan and France Mart, Dan and France Mart have been responsible for the growth of, uh, um, you know, Five Guys Burgers, uh, Freshy, uh, Halal Guys out in New York. Uh, the list is, is endless and, and they really, it's impressive what they could do. Uh, and we were excited to work with them and we have been working with them um, just to learn. I mean, you know, uh, we have, we're finance specialists. We have finance backgrounds. We're great at managing our assets. Uh, part of the team, my partner, Mike, is the restaurant, is the heart and soul of the restaurant operations. But when you get to this level, it's a whole new ballgame. Um, and fast forward to today, one of the, you know, I would say coolest things to happen to our company historically and most exciting is um, Dan Rowe uh, introduced us to, to Scott Conan, who obviously a lot of people know him from the, the Food Network. And, uh, you know, we're considered a, a super celebrity chef and honestly, overall, a great guy because um, we got to know each other once the intro was made and see how he would fit the company. And um, very similar backgrounds. Scott is part Italian as well. Uh, family comes from Italy, So he understands what we were trying to do in, in terms of the traditions and the culture of what we want to do in our brand. And we came to an agreement where we'd launch another brand under the Kisses from Italy umbrella, wholly owned by Kisses from Italy and uh, work again with France Smart to uh, franchise that brand. So there's gonna be, a, there's a bit of a, call it a reorganization or a pivot for the company where we do, we have to look at, you know, our products are gonna remain, probably hopefully expand that into other markets like the US and then move on with Scott. And it could be the beginning of one of many uh, brands that we could roll out uh, through Scott's development. That's quite the story, Claudio. Thank you for sharing that. And it's amazing what you've been able to accomplish so far. So let's talk about your recent news. I know you mentioned it briefly, but Kisses from Italy recently announced that it has joined forces with Food Network celebrity chef Scott Conant. Can you tell us more about this and what it means for the company? Like I said, historically, uh, probably the biggest thing that's happened to the company so far, um, Scott brings massive amounts of, of experience and talent and know-how. Um, and, you know, again, introduced to us by, from, from France Martin, primarily Dan Rowe. And the idea was simple. I mean, look, let's get the specialists in place where they know what to do, right? 
So we're the market guys, we're the finance guys, Kiss is mainly being, you know, Scott is the restaurant setup developer operator, although we will be operating, you know, the, the initial corporate home store prototype together, uh, because something, you know, we, we like to learn as well. And, and France Mart takes its obvious, uh, the obvious spot of being the developer and the franchise sales for the company. Um, for us, you know, we tend not to, we're very cautious when you jump into things. We don't jump into things. And, you know, it took, um, we were very quiet for a while. Uh, and I might've gotten a bit of flag from some investors because of that, but we needed to be sure in the sense that, you know, the deal with Scott took about six to seven months to put together, but it wasn't the whole time to do the deal. Half of that was getting to know Scott, um, you know, cause it was important to us that he understands our vision and that we understand his vision. And a lot of times it sounds great to make a deal like this, but you could be, you know, deep into the, into the situation and it doesn't work out for everybody. Um, so Cl Scott clearly understands what we want. We understand his vision. Uh, again, he's somebody that doesn't just put his name on anything. Uh, and we want to make sure that what Kisses from Italy has to offer is something that we would, you know, love as consumers. Um, so we're working on that with Scott. Now, what this means for the company is um, we do have a uh, brand and a concept, which we've already developed as the contract, as the, the, the contract setup was being done. Uh, we just haven't uh, divulged it yet because we want to make sure that it's properly protected, that the intellectual property of this new brand is properly protected. Uh, and from there, listen, the plan is simple. Uh, roll out the brand, uh, expand the brand in terms of franchise sales. And then the obvious, look, you know, we can, with, with Scott's uh, experience and the networking capabilities we have as a team, uh, you know, put the brand on other products that would be synonymous with um, the restaurant chain in essence. So there are many different food chains out there in the hospitality industry. What sets Kisses from Italy apart from all the others? So surprisingly to me, and it's something that this is why we're all excited about is that there isn't many, or there is like, you know, it's hard to name uh, an Italian fast casual franchise, right? You, we do have sandwich competitors. But we, what we want to bring is that, that experience we had as kids, that eclectic, you know, sit around the table with your family, have a good laugh, uh, not too serious, but focus on quality, focus on customer service. And it may, you know, obviously everything I'm saying has been said before by other people and I'm not, we're not reinventing the wheel, but the reality is we think we, what we're bringing to the market we are probably creating a new class because if you really think about it, everybody, when you think about a sandwich and if, if you've grown up in, you know, anywhere in the world, and then you think about Northeast U S or, or is Southeast Canada or, you know, cities like New York, Montreal, Toronto, Chicago, it's always that, you know, those Italian bakeries come to mind. And we've been able to take that idea and basically put into a franchise model. And, so that there's ease of use. Um, you know, one example is we've started to work with um, companies that provide hoodless and ventless equipment. One of the biggest headaches when you're setting up these types of restaurants, whether it be big or small, is you could love a location, but if you can't put a hood, well, you're walking straight out. Um, there's equipment that no longer needs that. And that equipment also provides um, um, a, uh, an advantage because it doesn't require a very high skill level to operate. It just requires the proper preparation and assembly. So the, a lot of the headaches that come with setup and preparing, uh, I don't wanna say have been eliminated, but quite a bit has been eased in that sense. So the model, we wanna bring that unique experience to each market that we're in, but it's a model that's replicable. And if you really think about it, even at times we still sit here and think sometimes there really isn't anything like it right now. So you can probably walk in, get a sandwich, buy some products, a little picture, a little Italian market, nothing too big. Uh, you know, get some slices of cold cuts if you like. Uh, but the sandwiches that we're putting together, that Scott is putting together are just something amazing to say the least. Can you highlight management now and tell me a little bit more about the key members and what they bring to the table? 
So the key members, you know, there's key players with us where uh, there's myself and, and uh, my partner, Michele Dottori, we call him Mike. Um, Mike and I have been friends for over, I keep saying 20 years, but the number is much higher than that, uh, probably 35 years. Um, and uh, we've been friends since uh, for a long time. And, you know, we had our own careers and, and, and doing our own thing. And then we came together with this idea. Uh, again, uh, from simply visiting South Florida and seeing that there was an opportunity, we, we, we started the first one there. Uh, so Mike and I are really the co-founders. Mike is the president and co-CEO of Kisses from Italy and a co-founder, as long as myself, I'm CEO and CIO. Um, so Mike and I really are the, the, the spearheads for the Kisses from Italy from the corporate side of things and from the restaurants and products we've developed. Uh, we do have key managers that are running our locations in South Florida, in Montreal and California, uh, and as well as, um, and now with this new subsidiary creation, under the Kiss from Middle Umbrella, obviously we got Scott. Scott Conant is going to be the uh, brand developer in terms of recipes, brand IP, all that stuff. Uh, and uh, and then we have France Smart in place, who is going to be our specialist in franchise sales. Uh, and you know, I invite everybody to look up who France Smart is, and I mean that's why we're excited to be for for a company like us, an emerging brand, to be working with these individuals. It's exciting because, like I said, we're learning, but it's also exciting because they see something that we bring to the table as well. So all this work in these last couple of years and good and bad luck, you know, it's fine. It's starting to feel it's starting to feel like it's starting to pay off. We all know how important management is, and it sounds like you've got some great experience there. So, you know, what are you most excited about when it comes to business for 2023? What should we be looking out for? Oh, definitely the, you know, this latest we're doing great in terms of our products. Um, we started two and a half years ago. We're roughly in about 70 stores right now across Quebec and Ontario. Uh, the plan is, you know, the gateway is opening. We have our a location in Italy that also acts as our um, supply chain provider, right? I mean, supply chain issues have been heavy in the, in the, in the, in the world lately, but we have some great contacts there. So, um, with the ease of supply chains across, you know, North America and Italy, we have full control of that. Uh, and then uh, just the rollout. I mean, this is exciting. I mean, I'd love to say more, but you know, we were actually we've obviously been working on it. But I think it's we want to do things right, and and that's the main thing with us in our company. You know, we're we're in the OTC space. We get it. Um, we understand. We've seen it. But for us, it's all about doing it the right way long-term fundamental growth that sticks right so you know we and we wanted to show that not just by saying it to our shareholders because sometimes you know they probably get frustrated from what i know but you know it's also the fact where we want to we want to not just we, we don't want to just say it, we want to show it and i think that that was the main purpose also in dealing with different business partners and business alliances uh when it came to scott he said look you know we could have gone around and say oh we're in discussions with a celebrity chef but we never did. We just wanted to say it once it was done. So at a certain point, it doesn't matter which market space you're in, you need to start delivering on what you're going to do. So we pride ourselves and maybe the, sometimes it takes a little bit longer than, um, it, so, than we expect. Maybe sometimes at our fault, sometimes just the market, you know, dictates at the pace that it comes, but we pride ourselves in hitting the targets that we say we will. Uh, and, and just like I said, doing things the right way and, you know, and build for long term, long term growth where, you know, um, and at the same time, have a little fun, have, you know, get to meet great people like Scott and Dan and, and just everybody else along the way. So I think that's definitely the way to go. So, you know, where's the best place for investors or prospective shareholders to find out more information on the company? Well, we've got a great team. We're actually working now with an investor relations, an investor relations firm. Uh, emerging market its own, so EMC for short, um, or you can reach out. We have a uh, email address at investors at kissfromitaly.com, and I'll admit it might be me who's responding to that, and I usually do sign it off if I do, uh, and or just reach out to the company. Uh, numbers on the website. What we like to do is obviously we're very careful. Uh, we respect the rules of being a publicly listed company, uh, and uh, we're open to talk to speaking to everybody. I mean, you know. As long as our the people who contact us understand, there's 
we're limited as to what we could say and we don't mind commenting on what's already been said, uh, but we're open to, to speak to everybody. Well, thank you so much for sharing your story, Claudia. It's quite interesting. Best of luck and I look forward to having you back on for more updates in the future. Thank you so much, Aaron. If you like these videos, kindly hit that subscribe button and the bell for notifications. Drop us a comment down below. We'd love to hear from you. And finally, always remember Departures Capital is for information, education, and entertainment purposes only. Don't buy or sell a stock because you heard it on here. Buy or sell a stock because you've done your research, you've done your thorough due diligence, and you're making your own personal investment decisions for yourself. This video is not financial advice. Furthermore, this video may or may not have been sponsored by the companies that we've profiled within this video, and we may or may not own shares of any of the profiled companies in this video. If you wanna know the full disclosure details, check the description down below along with thoroughly reading our disclaimer. Thanks so much for watching guys, and I look forward to seeing you in our next video.